in this OGE, uh, we are going to learn how to find the partial fraction decomposition using what we call the cover up method. So, cover up method, cover up method are to find to, to find partial fractions. Uh, the method works for uh, different linear factors and for the highest term, highest degree term in the denominator. So works for works for uh, different linear factors, different linear factors. different linear factors and for the highest degree term and for the highest degree term in the denominator highest degree term in the denominator when uh, there are repeated factors when uh, there are repeated factors so let's look at a problem like this so let's say um, so the example we try to do find find the partial fraction decomposition find the partial fractions For, so let's say um, this one 2 s squared plus s minus 1 divided by s times s minus 1 times s uh, plus 2 so let's say we have this so what we can do we uh, first write the partial fractions for that and we know that they, the factors are different so what we can do is uh, we're gonna pick one by one so we can write this one as so the decomposition or the what we call the form so the form is uh, it is 2 squared plus s minus 1 over s times s minus 1 s plus 2 and then the form going to be a over s plus b over s minus 1 plus c over s plus 2 now what we can do we can use a cover up method so for example what we're going to do is let's say you want to find a if you want to find a you're going to uh, uh, you're going to cover up the uh, the s term so that means you're going to cover up that term so you're going to pick the rest of the term and plug in the number that makes uh, this term zero so you know that this term going to be zero uh, when you plug in uh, s equals 0 so what you can do you're going to plug in s equals 0 for the rest of the term of the left side so you're going to pick this part and plug in s equal 0 then you're going to get the a and to find b you uh, ignore the s minus 1 from the denominator and plug in the plug in s equal 1 for the rest of the term so like that so for to find b you plug in s equal 1 to plug in c you find c you plug in s equal negative 2 so let's do that uh, so that means uh, we're gonna get uh, so, that means, uh, so we can see that the a is simply uh, 2 squared plus s minus 1 over we ignore s term so we have s minus 1 and s plus 2 we plug in s equals 0 so uh, so you're gonna get negative 1 we see plug in 0 you negative 1 and here you're gonna get negative 1 times 2 so in other words it's a negative 1 no negative 2 uh, which is simply 1 half and to find b uh, you're gonna ignore s minus one term from the denominator so that means you have 2s squared 
plus s minus 1 over you have s minus uh, you have s and s minus 1 so you have s term and s plus 2 actually in this case so you plug in s equal 1 so you're going to get uh, 2 plus 1 minus 1 over 1 times 3 so that means 2 third and to find c uh, similarly uh, you 2 s squared plus s minus 1 and we're going to ignore uh, s minus 3 s plus 2 factor so you're going to get s times s minus 1 you plug in s equal uh, negative 2 so when you plug in you're going to get 2 times negative 2 squared and then negative uh, and then negative 2 and then negative 1 divided by uh, you have negative 2 and you plug in s equal and so you get negative 3 so on the top uh, so this simplifies to 5 or 6 so those are the three, three terms uh, and then you can write the form as like this so it's 2 s squared plus s minus 1 over s s minus 1 s plus 2 which is equal to 1 half 1 of s plus 2 third 1 over s minus 1 plus 5 half 1 over s plus 2 now you may wonder why this method works for example let's look at how to find b so what we're going to do we're going to multiply by the s minus 1 term which is in the denominator once you multiply what you get is so i'm going to write this as a simple not uh, why this works you can see if you multiply by s minus 1 your expression going to be s squared plus s minus 1 and then you can see s minus 1 term get cancelled from the denominator so it is s plus 2 so you multiply by um, s minus 1 so that means this is a o s times s minus 1 plus b plus uh, c over s plus 2 times s minus 1 and you can see that when you plug in s equal 1 all of these terms get cancelled so this is going to go away this is going to go away you simply get b so that's the reason so that same argument applies for all the other terms as well so that's why the cover-up method works thank you